Swimming is one of the reasons that I'm where I am. It's just made me who I am. And I'm really thankful that my dad actually pushed me to the water when I was young. I left because I felt my dream is not going to happen because of war, because sometimes you're swimming and then a bomb comes in the pool, so you have to run out and go hide in the uh, cabins. It was not only once, it was like three or four times, and it was like horrific, like for all of us. Me and my sister thought about the same thing, which is that we are swimmers, and yeah, it would have been a shame if, if we die there, you know. In the beginning, I, I thought that people would feel pathetic for us. Maybe I'm there because of what happened in my life and not because I'm a good swimmer or something. Then, um, when I went there, I had a whole different view about everything. I'm now proud about being a refugee and making people understand what is a refugee. Each one of them have different story, no matter what color do we have, no matter um, if you're a girl or a boy. I've been also proud about being there, knowing that I'm representing millions around the world with a lot of dreams and hope. If you're gonna live with those experiences from the past, it is hard and it is obviously carrying a huge bag with rocks on your back. But also you can't get rid of them, you know, because they made who you are now and I am using my story and my sister's story to make me strong, to make me mentally also strong. Maybe we lost our country, but I still have like the same thoughts. I still am going. This book and movie will bring a huge message to the world that it is actually possible to do whatever you want when you really believe in it. And even if it's hard to get it, but just be patient.